So for some reason my age for this game was set to 13. I don't know why. You know, but I set, I set it to 99 just to see how that turns out. So I'm going to be Zaki. Has that outfit is... No. It's all shiny now at least. Now let's go to stick to the default. Yeah. I've also made a change to the um to one other thing, which you will be able to see in a sec. Oh, no, I guess it's you won't, you won't see it in this match, but you'll see it next. Well, assuming I can get to the next match, but fortunately, if I can't beat Genfu, I can always just restart because it's only the first match. Then again, he plays short later. Oh, I beat him. I destroyed him. Be electrocuted, you old man. Okay, Shinko Cho. Ha 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 ha. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. I thought the announcer was different was the DJ in this arena, I guess not. But yeah, so uh, I set it to Eleanor. I've unlocked I think Hayate is like the only character I've not got it for. Because he's just so hard to because he has that really tough to, to input move that I just can't do. So I can't unlock his uh, announcer voice. I am the top of my game, mate. Yeah, I'll teach you, you piece of shit. Um but yeah, uh, Zach's uh, story in this in this game is actually that's the, it's kind of interesting. If, right, so let me explain something to you. Like in case you're not familiar with uh, most spin-offs of fighting games, most will be action adventure spin-offs set early on in the timeline, often as prequels. Like Tekken's Death by Degrees was set before Tekken One. Soul Calibur Legends set like between Soul Blade and Soul Calibur One. They're always kind of set up like that. So they'll always be dead early in the timeline. The point where the events are so early that they've, that particular time frame is never brought up again. So you never know if the game is actually canon or not. Like, because there's usually a lot of continuity issues. You know, there'll often be loads of continuity errors that make it hard to tell whether the game is supposed to be canon or not. Like, are they retconning things, or are they just make a lot of mistakes and they're just ignoring this game? Not this game. Not with this series, though. Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball is absolutely canon, and Zack's story is a continuation of that. How exactly when he got eaten by fucking Megalodon, or Mega Shark on his way to fight Giant Octopus, I don't know. But, Zack's story is supposed to be that somehow climbing these towers will help him get money, because he's got a mountain of debt. He's got, he got a mountain of debt that he's having trouble dealing with after the whole Zack Island thing. Though I don't understand how he's got so much debt when he bought the island. I presume he'd already paid for it. I mean, unless the girls actually... Unless he only paid for half of it and the rest of it was supposed to be funded by the girls and their Zack money books. I don't know. Oh, that would have been an amazing comeback if I had won. It's still a pretty good comeback anyway. Like, a comeback isn't automatically bad just because you're, like, invalidated just because you've uh, lost. But yeah, so, um... Yes, it's, it's, uh... Fuck, shit. Some bitch. Yeah, they actually rearranged which bu which button the uh, that move is triggered by. Ah, fuck! Cause you see, you, you, it's this this button. That, it's that move that that button does now. Yeah, so they moved it. So that is the LB one. The 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 big split kick is the uh, RT. What a douche! Yeah, so he's inside the Tri Tower, and then he goes to fucking Africa. That's why Zack's story in this game makes absolutely no sense because he's supposed to be working his way up the Tri Tower on the outside. So no match, like, like no match makes any kind of sense between the two right between the uh, the two cutscenes. It might be better to, to be, honestly, it might have been just been better to eat, to uh, tail end all those. 
I, I put them all, all either put all put all these cutscenes at the end or put them all at the start. You know, instead of having this shit, which makes no sense. I wish they'd bring the stage back for a Dead or Alive 5 or 6. It's just one of the coolest stages they've ever done. Fucking hell. Bomb. Fucker. That actually worked out for me. Trying to counter actually worked out. Because I ended up doing a little dodge. So now he's on the Tri Tower. Now there's actually an, actually two different cutscenes that can play here. Um, there's this one, and there's, there's a. There's another one. I'm not sure what the actual condition is for it. I've heard that the condition. I've read that the condition for the other scene is to actually be wearing the. Uh, the Teletubby outfit, but that that never worked for me. Oh no no no! This is it. Yeah. Yeah. Th this one is a. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there's... I think it's a version where you use the parachute, but this is a part of seeing a Ninja Gaiden, where Ryu does that at the start of Chapter Four. When he arrives at his destination to go like get revenge or whatever. Yeah, it's a parody of that scene. And look, it's Beeman from Laston. He's on his way to kill me. No, don't hurt me. It's about all three all three towers exploded at once. I have to give him credit though, because like most ta uh, big towers in, in uh, fighting games, or any game really, they'll be like incredible, like, just completely hollow inside, not no stairs or anything, like incredibly just, just tall shaft with basically nothing inside, and it's just too thin to be a reasonable structure. You know, I've been playing Bayonetta 2 recently, so this scene makes absolutely no fucking sense. His whole goal is to get to the absolute top of the tri tower, and now he's like, I'm going down to the bottom to fight Alpha. Yeah, and all of a sudden he's trying to be cool, like, sometimes a man just has to do what a man has to do. So now I'm going to fight this big, glowing green clone lady, get my ass kicked, and that'll be that. Fortunately, this, is, this will be the last time I have to fight Alpha, because, um... Ellen and Christy do not have alphas as, as final bosses. They're two of the characters who have other characters. It's what just wants to imagine that he's cool, but he's actually not. Oh shit, no! Didn't, didn't hurt me, but... Actually, what is Zack's ending in this game? I don't remember. I, I, tell me in the, in the comments what, the, the, what Zack's ending is. I don't remember. Ow. Really? I'm not sure I need, I don't I think I even really need to beat Alpha because you see me beat her as other characters. And all I do is show the ending to prove that I have beaten her before is that. Fuck. It's always it's also a really good feeling, not just when you get when you get counts in general, but especially when it's Alpha. Oh, she died, bitch. <laughs> oh, I remember the, the end entirely now. Yeah, the, yeah, Nikki. Even though she abandoned him, she's still around. Open. Basically, just open the door in, ba uh, in backwards. Because apparently some Egyptian tomb was is can only be opened by saying "open the door." I think in Japanese backwards. So I th I'm not sure if this scene is actually canon. It might be. And this may seem silly, but keep in mind this is in canon with Ninja Gaiden. 
And yeah. Yeah. They, they really just embrace Zack as a complete buffoon. Like, it. It's, it's always kind of normal until DOEX. Yeah, they actually took this guy seriously once. Kinda. And now. He's fighting skeleton pharaohs and being chased by armies of skeletons. I mean, I what is this? The mummy returns. It's dumb. Let us proceed, motherfucker, into the next character. So the next character is going to be Christie, because Eleanor's story is you have to complete as everyone else to get Eleanor's story. She's kind of supposed to play as her last. So that's what I'll do. DOA 3 outfit, which isn't in 5, that I can recall, even as DLC. Uh, I'll stick with this one. Yeah, and, and this outfit just randomly sticks to her chest. There's no explanation. She doesn't wear a bra. It's just stuck. She probably has some double-sided tape in there somewhere. <laughs> You ready to die, Bay uh, Le Leon? Oh, I get it. It's because she can't kill the Bayman, so she's gonna kill the Leon instead. And this is why Leon isn't in DOA Five, because Christy tracked him down in Kyoto for some reason and fucking tried to murder him. If you don't have any interest in him, why did you just beat the shit out of him? You, you work for Doatech. I think. The whole the whole thing with Doatech is not all that clear when it comes to Lisa. She was definitely working for Doatech up until DOA 3. I think she leaves the company in this one, then it just gets really confusing in 5. Oh, she, might, she might have actually abandoned the company after 2. Hence, hence her needing the money and going to Zack or something like that. I mean, it's... It's always possible that the reason for um, Lisa's involvement in DOAX is because she knew Eleanor would be there and Christy, and she wanted to make sure that um, Eleanor wouldn't get killed or something. You can make that argument, I guess. So yeah, Christy's just out to out to kill uh, Eleanor again, and that's really it. Winner. What poison? For some reason, I was sure that, that she had she had her nails painted, but apparently not. I think that could have been an interesting idea because I remember um, in Holes this uh, book and they did a film of it. We, we had to read and watch it in English. Um, yeah, that uh, in that uh, there's a character who actually gets um, like I think it's like I think it's I'm not sure what type, I think it's like rattlesnake venom put into a. Um, into a nail varnish and then she puts them on and then, like backhands this motherfucker and he and he, he's, he's like get, he gets his like face all fucked up from the poison so that, that, that that's kind of thought what i thought they were going for but she, the nails aren't even painted so that's not it i'll defeat you young english boy yeah elliot really got fucked over in the doa movie because for some reason he was, he was some like 20 odd year old Asian man. Still called Elliot. I don't I don't get it. Fuck. Oh, 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 yes! Bloody hell. I thought I'd won then. So I was like, haha, I win. Oh shit, no. Would have been really embarrassing if I'd lost then. Because I would have had to include that part. 
Because my snake is sweet, because I use a snake. Oh, for God's sake. Every time! He's out to avenge his, his uh, student who I have defeated on account of us both being English. Oh, fuck. Whoa. I don't know what happened then, but somehow I avoided being the struck. Oh, yeah. He's like, aha, I block your attack. And I'm like, ha, he, oh. I don't know how he's able to block immediately after uh, I broke his guard, only to then lower his guard and get kicked in the face. He's not as good as he thinks he is, this Mr. Genfu. And I'm probably going to have to fight him as Eleanor as well. Because he is ev How many times has this motherfucker actually been in? And he, and I've not actually been editing the uh, DOA 4 stuff yet. So I'll have to try and keep track of this guy. How many times he's shown up. Because it's just ridiculous. This is what you get for not letting me kill Eleanor during DOA X. You prick. It's kind of an unfor unfortunate idea though. If, if like the character is just, just lying there unconscious. Underwater. The idea is that they drown. Oh no, actually, I think this I think that this version picks one at random. Yeah. So I, th I don't know what determines it. I, I, I think it's random, but most but it's more likely to be Ayane. And that's the, that's the version they chose to be canon with the uh, dimensions, which actually makes a lot of sense, since um, it, that allows um, you to then go off and um, fight, um, well, and help Kasumi uh, against Eleanor and Alpha, or whatever, while um, Hayate is fighting Bayman, or in dimensions, instead fighting Hitomi. And also, he has no concept of ninja secrecy, Hayate, because he just outright tells he told me that he's a ninja. In DOA 3, he's just like, I'm a ninja. And 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 that's not breaking any kinds of rules of the clan. See what I mean by the clan's rules being all kinds of fucking stupid? That's why they really need to just let Kasumi be part of the clan again. I mean, seriously, if, if, if she's not part of the clan again by... By like DOA six, and Hayate is officially the worst character ever, other than other than Quan Chi, and a few others. He's like what? He's, he'll be one of the absolute worst. He's like, oh, ninja rules! <laughs> I can't, I, I can't be friends with my sister, dick. For God's sake! Take it, yeah, bitch. <laughs> I think Chris's arm just went through Ayane in the in the replay. You have to check that just to be sure, but I think it did. And now the final boss. Oh, it's, it's Eleanor. I wonder if I'm going to fight Eleanor. Be funny if she didn't. Be funny if she just said, hello, Eleanor, and then just walked off. And fought Alpha. I don't know why Chris doesn't wear at least a bra under the... It's just <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's weird considering how much how much uh, detail they put into the clothing. Yet, they, they, yet this outfit just makes no sense, and they're set up in such a way that that the jacket doesn't move realistically at all. It's just very static. I mean, again, may, maybe she does have like double-sided tape in there, and that's that's I, the, a point. Like, that's explicitly the case, but well, not explicitly. But maybe that's the, the intended idea. Ooh. I don't know why Eleanor wears that bodysuit though. I mean, as an opera singer or whatever, it doesn't really make sense. And look, she looks just like Rachel from Ninja Gaiden. I don't know why. That girl, uh. That, no, I think that is just Rachel's model. Because her face looks really similar. 
I'm not sure if that, if that stripper outfit from before is actually here. Like, I don't, I don't know if Chris's stripper outfit... From, yeah, this is, the, this is the one. This is the one you unlock. This song is awful, makes no sense. Yeah. Now, you might look at... Okay, that's just random. But you might look at this and say, Oh, this is just some random shitty sex appeal. Oh, sexist. And to be fair, like... You don't really need to be like quite like this, but... She's actually on the job. <laughs> What's interesting about that, really, think about is the fact that that could be what the new job she's been assigned is from the intro of D I mean, the, her ending in DOA 3. It all ties together perfectly. It's a question of when it, it takes place. Like, is that how Donovan found out about her? He's like, you killed some random guy. I'm going to hire you. <laughs>